He had an old turntable radio in his house that was absolutely useless. The radio had gone bad, the turntable had rusted solid and stopped working. All this old thing was good for was resting small things on top and taking up space. Tired of it taking up valuable space in his home but knowing this cabinet had some character he decided to do something other than just throw it away. Take a look at this awesome dye liquor cabinet. Here you can see the old non-working radio inside this awesome vintage cabinet. This is the inoperable turntable. You can see how old and dirty it is. It wouldn't even turn. This is the view of the backside which isn't very pretty in this state. The first thing he had to do was gut out all the old non-working parts and remove the old scratched up wood supports from the interior. He then replaced the old rusted leg bolts with brand new stainless steel bolts with a double nut to prevent loosening and rusting. The interior was sanded and a 1x2 Douglas fur frame was built along the entire bottom to prevent any sagging or problems holding any kind of weight. He added another 1x2 strip on the back to help fasten the seamless finished board on top without any weak edges or spots. The cabinet still contains the sliding false front and the inside is now ready for plywood. A sub-base of plywood was necessary for three main reasons. First, there needed to be a solid base to glue the final top two so no screws would show. Second, he needed to raise the base slightly so that the interior of the cabinet would line up completely flat. And third, the base that could be screwed would allow for a perfect fit rather than gluing something only to have to take it out to resize it. Time to glue the final piece to the base. It had to be perfect. Now that the base was in place he was able to glue on the sides. Oh no! Too much glue was used in this corner and a little bit leaked out. It made the finish stick to the clamp and was tore off when the clamp was removed. Luckily it's on the inside and you'd really have to give a thorough inspection in order to find it. He ended up using mineral as the stain for the plywood as he couldn't find a stain color that he loved. This also kept true to the antique finish. He used three coats on all sides including the back of the cabinet. The finish turned out incredible. That's a 1.75L bottle of absolute vodka in there to show the size of this cabinet. It's the perfect size for a liquor cabinet. The original sliding face was kept intact and before he had time to finish the legs, he proudly displayed the cabinet on these crates. He was a little impatient but we don't blame him. He stripped and sanded as much paint and varnish off as he could. His dog Trixie guards the booze with her life either that or she's posing for some more puppy treats. He used a black enamel paint and gold enamel paint for the legs to keep their original feel with a durable finish. This bar is now open for business and ready to party. This is so awesome. I would just have thrown the whole thing away before thinking of converting it into a personal liquor cabinet. This is a great idea to repurpose some old furniture. I will be looking at all of my cabinets now to see if I can convert them into something unique with a personal touch to it. Share this awesome dye project with your friends. Subscribe for more.